Hey guys, BlazerFan BC apps here. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install CyanogenMod 7.1 onto your Android device. This is right now probably my favorite ROM. Um, to do this, you need a rooted phone. If you don't know how to do that, go to YouTube and just type in your device and do type in how to root. And then after you do that, you can follow this tutorial. Okay, so here we go. Step one, you're going to want to root your phone, which I said earlier. You can look up on YouTube how to do that. Um, yeah, so step two, we're going to download the CyanogenMod 7.1.0 ROM from their website, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. Okay, so here we are at CyanogenMod.com. Here's the link. So first things first, we're going to click on Get CyanogenMod. And then you're going to choose your device from this list. I have an HTC Evo 4G. Then you're going to click Stable Mod. And you're going to pick the newest one, which is 7.1.0. So click on this, and then it will download. Once it's done downloading, make sure your device is plugged in and change to disk drive. Um, you're going to click on it, and then you're going to put that zip file that you just downloaded on the SD card of your device, right in the very, not in any folder or anything, just right in the the root of your, um, your SD card. So you can see it's right here, along with all my other folders, not, not, in, an, not in a folder. That is important. Okay, so this is the this is it for the PC side or Mac side of installing Science. Okay, step three. What we're going to do is download a couple apps from the market. The first one we're going to download is called ROM Manager, which is this one right here. Uh, this is going to manage all of your ROMs, even though we just have Science Mod, but if you have more than one, it keeps, all, it keeps them all in order. And, it's a really easy organizer. Okay, and then we're going to download the app called SMS Backup. This is going to back up all your text messages, picture messages, all of that. So after you're done downloading those two, you're going to want to open up. Oops. We're going to want to open up the, where is it, SMS Backup, and you're going to push Backup. And then after you're done installing the ROM, after we're done with all of this, you're going to push Restore later. But for right now, just push Backup. That'll take it probably about five minutes. And then when you're done with that, we are going to open up. ROM Manager, the, the first or the second app, we, or the yeah first app we downloaded. First thing you're gonna do is flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. First button right there. Pick which phone is yours. And it's probably gonna ask you for super user permissions. Just allow it. Mine's automatically granted. So it's successful. So now we are going to boot into recovery, which is the second button right here. Press OK. And again, my super user permissions were granted automatically. You might have to press OK again. And if your screen goes all fuzzy or weird, don't worry, it does that sometimes. It's not a problem. I'll wait for it to reboot into the custom recovery we just installed. Okay, so now we're going to start deleting and getting ready for the new ROM. The first thing you're going to want to do is wipe data factory reset button. Just press yes. Okay, that one's done. Second one we're going to do is wipe cache partition. Yes. 
this. Okay. And the third one, which is very important, go to advanced wipe Dalvik cache. Okay, that one's done. So now we're gonna go back and we are going to press install zip from SD card. And you're gonna choose zip from zip, choose zip from SD card. It's usually at the bottom. We're choosing the ROM you downloaded off their website and put onto your SD card. You're gonna press OK. Or press yes. And it is installing Cyanogen 7.1. This can take a short or a long time, depending on which phone you have. Um, don't worry about it. If it looks like it's frozen, it's probably not. Just wait for it to finish. Okay, looks like it's done. So we are going to go back. Reboot system now. And with any luck, you should have Cyanogen Mod 7.1.0. Now is the time when you want to download the app SMS Backup and Restore and restore your text messages. And this will this would have deleted all of your apps. Um, you can just re-download them. There are ways that you can save all of your apps, but usually it just creates more problems than is needed. So I always just delete all my apps. And there is the beautiful Cyanogen Mod 7 boot screen. Usually the first time booting up from a new ROM takes the longest. So don't worry about that. And there it is. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and press like. It would help me out greatly. I'll be trying to post almost a video a day, so be on the lookout for those. So thank you and enjoy my future videos.